we call this question a disagreement point at issue disagreement question. Really, the key word here, you just, you know, I guess once you get good enough at this, you don't really waste a lot of time reading. You just see disagreement. Um, and but let's let's read it. It says the dialogue provides the most support for the claim that Carolyn and Arnold are two speakers. What do they disagree over? They disagree over whether the object described by Quinn, which is someone in here, as a conceptual portrait of John Sir Solston, what, right? Should be considered art, should be considered Quinn's work, blah, blah, blah. So let's let's see what uh what the two of them say. By the way, this this is a this is not a hard question type. Rarely when you get a question type of this, like this, it's it's typically easy. There there are very, very few agreement disagreement questions that are considered difficult. This one, you know, is not atypical in that sense. It's it's fairly easy. Carolyn says the artist Mark Quinn has displayed behind a glass plate biologically replicated fragments of Sir John Solston's DNA, calling it a conceptual portrait. So this artist Mark Quinn, um, you know, is essentially just sort of displaying a a fragment of, uh, let's see if I can do a double helix strand here, something like, right, of Solston's DNA. Um, and he calls it a conceptual portrait. And then Carolyn says, but to be a portrait, something must bear a recognizable resemblance to its subjects. Okay, so uh, draw the conclusion yourself. What do you think Carolyn thinks about whether or not this is an actual portrait? She just stated for you that the necessary condition of a portrait, it must be that it, rec it bears a recognizable resemblance. And does this thing bear a recognizable resemblance to this thing? Right? No, the answer is no. So Carolyn obviously does not think this is a well, maybe, I mean, I will hope it's obvious that uh, Carolyn does not think that this is a portrait. And then Arnold says, I disagree. Quinn's conceptual portrait is a maximally realistic portrait, is a portrait. So as you see, that's already a disagreement. They, uh, Arnold thinks it's a portrait. Why? Because, because it holds actual instruction according to which Solston was created. You know, this is fine. Like, they just have different de definitions of what accounts to be a portrait. Carolyn thinks to be a portrait, you have to be re recognizable. You have to have recognizable resemblance, and Arnold doesn't think so. Right? Arnold thinks it's a portrait because of this reason. So, okay, so what do they disagree over? Should we consider art? No, they don't have a discussion about whether it's art. Should we consider Quinn's work? I don't think they dispute it. Right? For art, they just neither one talks about it. So you don't you actually have neither one takes a position on whether it's art. For B, should we consider Quinn's work? I think they both say yes. Right? So there's no disagreement here. Bears a recognizable resemblance to Solston. I think they both say that it doesn't bear a recognizable resemblance to Solston. No one's going to seriously argue that a fragment, that a replica of the DNA, actually looks like a person. Uh, D says, contains instructions according to which Solston was created. Um, I think they both agree on this. I mean, Carolyn's not going to deny biology, I would hope. Uh, and, and Arnold, you know, says it. So, th 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 so far, it's no, neither one takes a position. They both agree. They both agree. They both agree. Right, they both agree that this is wrong. Here, they both agree that the, uh, these are right. So E is an actual portrait of Solson. Yeah, and Carolyn here. Carolyn says nope, and Arnold says yep. And this sort of this sort of chart is what we use. Uh, you know, you learn when you uh, l look at the lessons uh, on how to do pointed issue questions. This chart is what we do to what we use to uh, come to the right answer choice.